As a man, you need to protect and provide. You need to show up, you need to embody someone that can attack and defend at the appropriate times. When you're looking in the mirror, the first thing you need to do is be raw, real, vulnerable, truthful with yourself about the actual situation. Human fairness, guys, it's life is not fair. Stop playing. You already are going to lose if you don't play all out. If you don't play all out, you're already going to lose, right? Because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. Welcome to Bridging the Gap. I am Bridger Rogers, and together we will bridge your gap. I created this podcast because I believe that as a man, your masculinity is under attack. You're trying to balance what the world's trying to tell you to be, what your wife's trying to tell you to be, or your girlfriend. Everyone around you is trying to tell you how you should be, and there's only one person that you need to listen to. That's yourself and what you believe about God. And so, I created a system to help balance modern masculinity so that it doesn't transform into something either too toxic or too feminine. And so today we're going to talk about the B5 system and what this podcast is going to reveal to you upon the coming episodes. B5 stands for your belief system, your body, your business, your brotherhood, and your babe. When you put these in the right order, you'll notice that your life starts to fall into place seamlessly, goals start getting hit consistently, and you realize that you wake up one day and you feel like you're literally living your dream life. And so I unfortunately discovered this through trial and error, hundreds and hundreds of hours of researching, reading books, buying courses, buying programs. And so if you're watching this right now and you're, you're so confused about what the media and online is telling you how to be, how to act, and you're you're really feeling like your goals are getting hijacked and you're constantly just going from goal to goal, just feeling lost, just feeling like you're on the, the hamster wheel of life. I was there too, guys. But what I realized is that you need to first put into order what you believe. Because if you don't know what you believe and you don't know why you believe it and you don't know who you are, what you believe about the world around you and you don't know what to believe about God, then what you're going to find is that you're just hamster running round and round and round and round on the hamster wheel. So throughout this episode, I'm going to share with you how I've been able to generate over $5.5 million in the online coaching space through sales, developing high income skills to level my business, how I've been able to build a brotherhood of other men around me that no matter what I go into, what sort of adversity that I face, I know that I've got men that are willing to step into the battlefield with me, pull me off the field if I get injured. And then lastly, I'm going to show you how to build rock solid, unbreakable self-confidence and belief in yourself. So no matter what you set your mind to, you'll have the confidence, skills, and the ability to go out there and do it. And when you put all of those into place, what you'll notice is that then you can actually step into a place where you can attract and retain your dream woman. Okay. Or maybe you're already in a relationship with someone that you love and you're worried that because you're working so hard in your business, because you're not taking your health serious, she's going to leave you or she's going to become unattracted, or, she, or you notice that you're just leading her poorly and she's making bad choices. That's what's most common with the clients that come to work with me at Bridging the Gap before. I'm going to throw up a couple stories that you can kind of listen to and hear about for men that have come from all walks of life, all different parts of the country, even around the world, that have struggled to find this balance of writing the own script of their life and, and letting the world kind of influence them and hijack their goals. And so if you're watching this, the Bible says if you're a believer in, or not, there's some power in the words of Jesus and the teachings of Solomon. And one of the, the most powerful verses in the Bible in Romans talks about be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so by watching this podcast, we're putting out episodes two times a week. They might even be up to daily at this point if you're watching. I want you to tap in, spend the next 15, 20 minutes with me and sit back and enjoy the journey because bridging the gap isn't about getting to an end destination. I believe that until you die, right? And whatever you believe what happens next, I believe there is an afterlife and an eternity. And wherever you go next, that's when the journey begins. So until then, we're bridging the gap until eternal life. So I'm going to share with you timeless lessons that Jesus taught about. So I'm multi, multi-millionaire business mentors have taught me how I've been able to help over a thousand men transform into movie star shape. 
I believe that as a man, you need to protect and provide. You need to show up. You need to embody someone that can attack and defend at the appropriate times. And that's building a body that's strong, resilient, and has endurance to endure literally whatever hardships that life may bring. So the podcast, we're going to bring on guests, people that you've never been able to see up until now. Uh, We're going to ask questions that no one else is willing to ask because on this podcast, we're going to give you the truth, the cold, hard truth. Some people love the truth. Some people hate the truth. I don't care what you think about the truth. The truth is the truth and it hurts regardless of where you're at, but it also frees the mind, the body, and the soul. He who knows the truth shall be set free according to the scripture. And so we're going to divide, we're going to figure out how do we know what truth is in a world where there's so much deception and lies And we have one enemy. If you're a believer, if you're a Christian like myself, you have one enemy. It's not against flesh and blood, but against the powers, the authorities. So in the scriptures, if you go to the Bible and you read Ephesians chapter 6, what you'll find is that the armor of God, right? But but before that, most people overlook this, is that we're not fighting against flesh and blood. If you look at Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, I'm literally going to read it for you right now. It says, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Guys, I'm I'm here to tell you that your enemy is not the Democrats. Your enemy is not the Republicans. Your enemy is Satan. The enemy is the devil. And he is the only enemy that pulls people to his side and, and gets people to fall in love with their fleshly desires. And so I'm here to help you break the chains, the generational curses, the chains that have held you back from fully transforming and unleashing your God-given potential. And so re- regardless of what your religious beliefs are, or your background is, we can all agree that there's something out there, right? Whether it be the, the, the forces of darkness, you know, the freaking whatever you believe in, right? The Illuminati, who knows what you believe in, but there's definitely a higher power of evil that we're all fighting against. And I'm here to tell you that I believe it's the adversary, right? It's the enemy, it's the devil. And so I'm gonna share with you things that can equip you because in the Bible, it says that if you resist the devil, he will flee, right? And so we're going we're gonna to learn how to not only resist him, but how do we actually step into the presence of God? How do we start to walk in light, life, and truth, right? If you're a believer, it calls us to be salt and life to the earth, right? What does salt do? Salt makes something taste better. Light brings truth to darkness. And so that's what I'm going to hopefully be for you on this podcast is I, hopefully I'm a spiritual mentor. Hopefully I'm a physical mentor. And let me tell you something that really pisses me off, guys. I'm so pissed off at seeing all these pastors that are overweight and fat. I'm so pissed off at everyone who's making a ton of money, but they aren't honoring and glorifying God. I'm so pissed off that people have a beautiful family and a beautiful wife, but they're broke and fat and out of shape. Why can't we see men that are a five-pillar man, that are B5 masculine men, that have their belief systems in check? They believe in themselves. They believe in God. They believe in a higher power. They believe in doing good for the world right? They believe they're going to achieve their goals. They believe they're going to be an overcomer, right? Why can't we have men that have a body that represents strength, power, dignity, and can protect and provide, right? The body of a freaking warrior, of a Navy SEAL, of a king. Why can't we have men that are able to create fruit in the world, create jobs in the world, are able to not become victims and relying on the government, but, but instead produce fruits in the economy, right? Literally generate new business out of nowhere, right? Think and grow rich. Number four, how come we can't have brothers that are all banding together to fight against one common enemy instead of fighting against each other? What's going on, guys? It's Bridger. Listen, a lot of you guys watching the podcast want to know how you guys can get a hold of me. Best way is to join my Bridge Builder Brotherhood and shoot me a DM on school. First link in the description, you've got exclusive content, monthly coaching calls with me, and I'm posting all the time in there. It's like our own little social media platform. First link in the description, completely for free. Let's get back to the podcast, right? And lastly, why are so many men struggling to find spouses that are loyal, that are loving, that are feminine? Because they're not the masculine leaders that they need to be for a woman to fully surrender and get into her feminine energy. So we're going to talk about all that on this podcast. Guys, my name is Bridget Rogers. Again, I want to share with you my story. For those of you who who haven't tuned in to me, I want to actually acknowledge real quick before getting into my story, a couple of my mentors that have played a huge impact in my life. Number one, I want to shout out my mom. I was homeschooled. She taught me literally almost everything I know, or at least how to learn. And so she's just been an incredible role model to me. And she's never given up on me, right? When I, when I'll get into my story in a minute, but when I was on my deathbed with Lyme disease, she constantly kept fighting for me, right? And she showed me what literally unconditional love looks like. And I think until you experience unconditional love, your life will continue to be hardened. Until you experience that true unconditional love, that's really the, you know, all love comes from above, but until you do that, there's something that's that's going to be quite 
missing from your life. And then I want to shout out one of my first business mentors, right? Greg O'Gallagher. He's a, he was my business partner. He's my friend. You know, we, we were able to transform over a thousand men into movie star shape with our movie star coaching program, Kino Body Coaching. And the guy just has been an inspiration and had my back for over six years. And so I just want to shout him out as I'm building this. It wouldn't be possible if I didn't have that mentorship and belief and, and the things that he's taught me along the way. And so for those of you guys that are coming over from that program or you've seen me a part of Greg's stuff, uh, I want you to know that me and Greg are closer than ever. Uh, we're best friends and uh, I've got his back for life. He's got my back for life. And um, we're super excited about kind of both the directions in which we're moving. Fully support what Greg's doing with Kino Body, what, what they're doing over there. They have a bunch of cool stuff coming. Lastly, you know, I just want to acknowledge my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Without Jesus as my Savior, right, I would still be stuck in the chains of darkness, in, in the chains of sin. But I've been transformed. I've been renewed, not because of anything that I've done, but because of what he's done on the cross. And so um, I just want to share with you that, you know, if you're in a, se- a season of darkness, you're in a season of, of lack of hope. You don't believe that life can get better for you. I want to share with you my personal story of darkness, of, of battling suicidal thoughts, suicidal ideation, right? And so uh, when I was 15 years old, I went to public school for the first time after being homeschooled for 10 years. And I started going to school. And when I got there, I think part of the, the impact that really lowered my immune system was, was the level of sin that I, I witnessed, right? People were cursing everywhere. I'd never cursed where I'd never been around people that had cursed at such a high frequency. And uh, and just being around all the sin and the pain and the hurt from everyone around, it just the it just it was really sad to see. And so where that kind of led me was actually funny enough, I was trying out to be on my high school basketball team. But just like Michael Jordan, I was cut from my high school basketball team. I didn't make it. And that really impacted me because I spent an entire summer training. I bought my first online digital product, first coaching program at 14. Worked all summer making five bucks an hour, you know, literally working probably a hundred hours for this $500 course. And so, you know, when I got to that moment of trying out and failing, it really impacted me. And one of the things that I learned along that journey is I promised myself when I was driving up to my high school to look at that piece of paper to see if I'd make it was I told my mom, I said, if I don't make the team, I want you to drop me back off of the gym and I'm going to keep training because I, I'm not, I'm going to refuse to not be a victim. And what happened is that after I looked at that list, and I looked at from top to bottom and my name wasn't on there, I went back up again, my heart sunk. Fear, doubt, depression, lack of self-esteem, doubt, insecurity, all rose up inside and conquered. And I did not let, I didn't, I didn't fight back. Instead of keeping that promise that I kept to myself, I went home and I sat in sorrow and misery and pity. And uh, I think that that really had an impact on my self-esteem and on my, not only that, but my, my immune system. So a couple months go by and eventually I start having these really bad stomach aches, right? Anxiety, but also some stomach aches. And what happened was, is we didn't know, actually. We didn't know what happened. But later, I would find out a long, long journey of getting pulled out of school after a couple months of just having so many stomach pains that I would just get pulled out of school because I was just, I called my mom, I was in so much pain. So I get pulled out of school. 18 months go by. Three semesters, I'm out of school. I miss, miss school. I retract from the entire world. I Instead of having brothers that got around me when I was... When I was sick, beaten up, insecure, you know, wounded, I really didn't have the friends that I thought that I did. I had a couple people that, you know, um, were there for me, but most, most of the friends I did not feel in my life. And so I committed that when I got better, I was going to be the friend I never had. And so I started to look for people and build a brotherhood. And that's why it's so important to have people that have your back, no matter what, no matter what you're going through in life. Through that experience, right, of, of having just the most intense pain every time I ate, It just hurt, like unbelievable. And so I literally just stopped eating. I was eating less than a thousand calories a day. Um, And so eventually we found out that I had Lyme disease, right? So a couple other people there, uh, you know, well-known, Justin Bieber, a couple other people had Lyme disease. It's very, very brutal. It it takes a huge toll on your mental, right? I had brain fog. You know, I'd try to read the Bible, I'd read a book and I'd read the words, but they wouldn't connect. I'd read the words, but I wouldn't understand the meaning And so I was just, I was depressed. I could barely go up and down the stairs. Like I'll I'll throw some photos up here as if you're watching on YouTube. And if you're watching on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, highly suggest you check out some of these these photos um, uh, on YouTube. Go If you go to my YouTube channel and search Bridger Rogers, you can see this this first episode, um, which is why I started Bridging the Gap. The reason that I want to share this with you is because if I can come back from such a low point in my life where, you know, I had Lyme disease, right? My health was taken from me. And I literally didn't want to live, right? The lowest point in my life was I was so depressed. I felt like such a burden on my family that 
at one point, I'm literally just laying in bed one night, just crying about freaking 14 months into this. I start crying, just unbelievable. It was un- I could not control. I was, and I was laying on my side and I go to grab my arm and I was able to put my, my entire uh, hand around my bicep, right? They were able to touch. It was unbelievable. I'll show some photos, but I just like literally just laying down hurt because I was just skin and bone, no muscle and, uh, or fat. And so I was just, man, I'm just freaking, I'm taking up so much time and energy and money going from doctor to doctor with my family. I'm just a burden. I couldn't help out with the family, couldn't help out with chores. I just felt like, uh, just a total, just sucker of life, just sucking life out of the family. And so I literally was just crying. I just felt so like unworthy, just a feeling of unworthiness. And so I just cry. My mom comes in, into my room and She's like, what's wrong? I'm just like, I just don't feel worthy. I just don't want to live anymore. Like, I'm just done. Like, I'm just sick and tired of going from doctor to doctor with false hopes of if I take this pill, if I do this thing, if I have the surgery, I'll get better. Um, And it just didn't work. And so I was like, I just don't, I don't, I think I'm gonna be a sick kid the rest of my life. I didn't think I was gonna be able to chase my dreams and travel to Europe and go to 13 countries, generate millions of dollars and help other people live their dreams. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do any of that, right? Pack on 30 pounds of muscle, right? Be able to do hundred pound weight of pull-ups, right? I did not think I was going to be able to do any of that, the state that I was in. But my dad kept telling me this one verse over and over and over and over, which is Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to give you a hope and a future, not for destruction and ruin. And so I kept going, guys. Long story short, I started taking these DNA supplements, which um, if you want to know how you can do business with me, what we offer here at Bridging the Gap, I'm not Alex Hermosi. I do have something to sell you. And uh, we'll get to that in a minute. But um, but first and foremost, I just want to deliver massive value and, and deliver transparent truth. Like I'm going to share some stuff with you guys that most people don't even share with their closest friends because I think that the truth sets you free. And so I want to share the truth with you about my situation. I want to sh- share the truth with you about where I'm at in life. I want to share the truth with you about the mistakes I've made and, and the lessons I've learned and the success that I've had. A lot of people exaggerate their numbers. I'm going to show you the screenshots. I'm going to pull, pull back the curtains and show you my my freaking accounts, right? I'll show you the proof because, you know, there's so much out there. I don't blame you. Okay. You should actually look in to make sure that what people are saying is true. Okay. Now to fit, to wrap up this story, when I came back from this and I overcame this health illness, there's one decision that I made. If you look at the word decision, it's very powerful. It comes from the Latin word decisio, which means to cut off, right? Literally to kill. I looked in the mirror one day Okay, this is a couple months after that that night with my mom. Look in the mirror and I say, you know what? I'm done being a little, said the B word, right? I'm done being a little, I said, I'm done. I said, I looked in the mirror, I'm done with it. I'm not doing it. And I snapped my fingers. I freaking just shook it off. And at the time I kind of started making excuses. I was like, yeah, my mom would say, hey, take this pill, do this routine, stop, you know, do this. And I stopped doing it all, right? I stopped taking action to get better and I gave up. I became a victim. And if you're listening to this right now, maybe you're in a victim mindset right now. You're making excuses for why, where you not want to be, right? You feel like the place that you live, right, isn't, doesn't have any women for you, right? Or, or maybe you don't feel like you're, you're gifted or skilled enough to be able to make the money you want, right? Or you don't see an opportunity. I want to let you know that you can and will accomplish your goals if you make a commitment and you make a decision. And I hope that this call, this show for you is a turning point every time you get on the show. Because I'm constantly recreating myself. If you look at my content three, six months ago, total recreation, right? As Andy Elliott says, one of my mentors, right? Lives right down the road. Andy Elliott, love the guy. Total recreation every three to six months, right? Three to six months ago, right? Three months ago, total long hair, totally different energy, different person, different mission, different business, right? I'm constantly recreating myself. Now, when you're looking in the mirror, the first thing you need to do is be raw, real, vulnerable, truthful with yourself about the actual situation. And then you need to make a decision. You're going to do whatever it takes. That's what I did. Guys, I looked in the mirror. I said, you know what? You need to get fed up. You need to start taking things personal. You need to start taking your failure personal. I got fed up with failing. I said, you know what? I'm going to do whatever it takes. If I got to cut off my left arm to get better, I can and will overcome and be a conqueror. And so I made that decision. I went out, went out of the bathroom. I said, mom, Sign me up for anything and everything. I'm ready to get better. I'm committed, right? And when you're committed, you'll go through whatever pain, you'll go through through whatever price that you have to pay to accomplish your goals and live your dreams. And that's what I did, guys. And so um, within four months, I packed on 20 pounds of muscle after I started taking these DNA supplements, which we're going to actually talk about how you can, you know, really tap into some really powerful stuff with 
um, B2. Okay, so we've got different programs, right? We've got a program for each B if you want to accelerate or if you want to fast track. We'll talk about that in a minute. But at the very least, you're going to get everything you need to be able to transform on this podcast. But for the guys that maybe have problems with following through, right? When you say you're going to do something and you don't do it and you need someone to kind of call you up and call you out, that's what the coaching's for. It's for the accountability, for the customized roadmaps, and for systems to plug into. If you're if you're someone who wants to buy back time, that's exactly why I've invested over three hundred thousand dollars of my own money into personal development, into coaches, into mentors, into systems, into programs. So, um, the more you learn, the more you'll earn, right? I want you to imagine literally like there's a hole in your chest and every hundred dollars you put in, you get a thousand dollars out. How much money would you put into yourself? Guys, most people don't realize this, but businesses only last so long. In fact, 97% of businesses don't make it past five years, right? But you, the chance that you're going to live another five years is well above 97%, right? So it's flipped. The odds are flipped. So if you invest in yourself, you're going to take you with to the next business, to the next job, to the next opportunity. So why not put everything into yourself? commit and figure the rest out later. So I want to share a parable that for me really, really had a a big impact on me when I read it, which is the parable of the talents, right? For those of you who don't necessarily maybe fall into the, uh, uh, the, the, the belief system of Christianity or the Bible, you can still get a lot of value out of this because Jesus taught in parables and some of the most wisest books have been kind of narrated off of these parables. And so here it goes. For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted them to his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, each according to his ability. Now let's stop for a minute and break this down. Notice how God entrusted to each servant a different number of talents. Let's say the talents were actually gifts, talents, abilities. Life is not fair, okay? The narrative that I'm hearing where we need to make life fair, human right. I believe in human rights, right? basic human rights, but human fairness, guys, it's life is not fair. Some people are born six foot nine, right? I can't, I can't, it's not fair for me to play against someone who's six foot nine in the NBA, right? There, there are unfair odds that God puts into the world, but we need to all figure out how to become the best stewards of those odds. So I want to let you know that whatever your gifts are, whatever your talents are, he's entrusted you at a different level and you need to play all out with them. Uh, then he went away. So the, the master went away. He who had received five talents went at once and traded with them. And he made five more talents. So also who had the two talents made two more talents. But the one who had received one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled the accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents here I made five more. His master said to him, well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much. Enter into the joy of your master. And he also said that to the one who had two talents. The master again said, well done and good, faithful servant to the man who who made an extra two from his two. He'd also received the one talent from the man who came forward saying, master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, you wicked, slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I have not gathered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers. At my coming, I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to the one who has 10 talents for to everyone who has will be given more and he will have an abundance. But the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away and cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place, there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Guys, this is my favorite scripture. Let me tell you why, guys, because number one, life isn't fair. God's going to give to those he wants to give. And he's going to give you an opportunity to show your faithfulness to him. Okay, let's say you don't believe in God. The universe is going to show you, okay, your potential. And if you spit in his face, you bury your potential, you hide from your potential, and you don't step up and you invest and you go all out in yourself and you try to make a difference in the world, what you have will be taken from you is what it says. So stop playing. You already are going to lose if you don't play all out. That's the truth. If you don't play all out, you're already you're already gonna lose, right? I have so so much more respect for a man who enters the arena. In fact, I'm gonna read you a quote from 
a man that I really look up to. And it was actually a quote that every time I went to get treated for Lyme disease, I looked across the hall and across the hall on a piece of paper mounted was this quote. And you're going to love this quote was from Theodore Roosevelt. It is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust, sweat, and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again and again, because there is no effort without error and shortcoming. But who does actually strive to do the deeds? Who knows great enthusiasm, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least fails while daring greatly. So that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who know neither victory nor defeat. So if you're watching this show and you're inspired by the mission of Bridging the Gap, which is to Get out of the stadiums, get out of the stands of life and start playing in the gosh dang arena, guys. Get out of the stands and get into the field, the battlefield of life, guys, because if you don't know victory nor defeat, Theodore Roosevelt said it best. And Jesus said it even better. He called the man who didn't go out and play all out with his one talent a slothful and wicked servant. I see so many men right now when I see that they're successful in business and they're fat and out of shape. Slothful and wicked when you have a business that's successful but your marriage is falling apart. And listen, I get it, guys. There's a lot of pressure as a man to be so many different things. Husband, father, right? Boyfriend, brother, business owner, right? Whatever your career is, whatever hats you're wearing, I know there's a lot of pressure and I wanna let you know there's a system that you can implement to create balance. You can use B5 to finally find the balance of freedom you've been looking for in your schedule and actually start to harness the energy and the time that God's gifted you with so that at the end of your life, hopefully the Lord says, well done, good and faithful servant. So that's why we're on the podcast is to empower, to equip you because Proverbs 27, 17, as iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Hopefully I'm that man sharpening you on the podcast, Bridging the Gap Show. Guys, we're going to bring in some of the most powerful, influential speakers on the planet who have built multiple seven, eight, nine, and 10 figure business. That's right. We're going to bring billionaires on the show. We're going to bring pastors. We're going to bring preachers. Guys, we're going to bring innovators, entrepreneurs, inventors. What's going on, guys? It's Bridger. Listen, a lot of you guys watching the podcast want to know how you guys can get a hold of me. Best way is to join my Bridge Builder Brotherhood and shoot me a DM on school. First link in the description, you've got exclusive content, monthly coaching calls with me, and I'm posting all the time in there. It's like our own little social media platform. First link in the description, completely for free. Let's get back to the podcast. Anybody that's bridged the gap, that's gone from who they were to who they dreamed of becoming, who they're born to become, that's what this podcast is all about, guys. So I want to let you know that you're in the right spot, If you, especially if you're a young guy that's really just kind of lost, figuring out how to even be a man. This is exactly where I'd be tuning in because I'm going to share with you all of the lessons that I've learned that impacted me on my story. I'm going to teach you B5 masculinity. I'm going to teach you ways to make money online through high ticket sales, through building a business, through partnering with people. And you're going to walk away with actionable items that you can actually implement and skills in your life, right? This isn't going to be stuff that, you know, it's just going to be food for thought. This is going to be stuff you can actually walk away and implement systems, processes, strategies, action steps. And uh, if you want to connect with me, you want to ask me questions, you want me to actually, you know, present one of your questions on the show to one of our future guests, then just shoot me an email at questions at bridgingthegap.ai, questions at bridgingthegap.ai. And we'll be sure to include that in one of the episodes and make sure to give you a shout out. Or if you'd like to be anonymous, let us know as well. If you want to get connected with me behind the scenes, then I encourage you to shoot me a DM. Let me know that you've watched the podcast on Instagram, Bridger underscore Rogers. Make sure that if you enjoyed this content, you subscribe, you turn on the notification bell, and you turn on and you look at the posting schedule. We're going to be dropping episodes at the same time, two times a week to start. We'll ramp it up from there as you guys request more and more content. Guys, I could go on and on about the systems that I've built to be able to build, you know, uh, for the past six years, be able to maintain movie star shape, right? Generate millions of dollars online at the age of 23, attract and have abundance in my dating life and, and now meet a beautiful woman that I call my girlfriend. Hopefully we're working towards uh, an incredible lifelong relationship. 
and build a brotherhood of men that are both mentors and people that I can pour into and mentees of mine. And, and you know, lastly, um, you know, just build an incredible relationship with my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and the creator, the King of Kings, and really also tap into the power of, of being transformed through renew, the renewing of your mind, right? Through, through God's word, through scripture, through reading books, through hanging out with mentors, and ultimately elevating and transforming my mindset. So this is a completely free show. All I ask is that you share this with someone that you feel like, you know, you'd like to start bridging the gap with, right? I believe that champions come in pairs of two. And you're going to need a battle buddy to get to the next level. You're going to need someone to train with, right? You're going to need someone to push hard with, someone to maybe start a business with, compensate for your weaknesses. So share this with someone that's going to be your battle buddy. Let them know that you believe in them. Let them know that you love them, encourage them. And if you want to do business with me, then it's very simple. I just would like to have a conversation with you. I give away free bridge plans all the time. These are 30-minute strategy sessions where we're going to sit down. We're going to build out a customized game plan for you on exactly how to get you from where you are to where you want to be with a bridge plan. It's a proprietary strategy that I've developed to be able to start multiple seven-figure businesses, transform my body into the literally the shape of a freaking warrior, a Navy SEAL freaking warrior, and also be able to you know meet a woman that I would really want to be with for the rest of my life, right? I, I at one point I struggled to even talk to girls, right? I, I was grew up homeschooled, right? The typical MO is that I'm socially awkward, so I had to overcome a lot of things throughout my life, and so I want to share those with you, and I want to have a conversation with you. So shoot me a DM, let me know that you watch the podcast. Bridger underscore Rogers. You can just shoot me bridge. If you want to just DM me bridge and I'll go ahead and get you a link to book a call with myself or one of my team members, depending on when you're watching this. So if you enjoyed this first episode, there's three more episodes that we dropped at the launch of this podcast. I want you to go watch those three. And if you finish all of them, I've actually got a special gift for you before the next episode comes out. Go ahead and DM me finished and I will go ahead and send you a special gift that I want to give you for watching the first four episodes of this podcast. I'm really excited to work with you. Make sure that you go to Apple Podcast and Spotify. Follow me, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure you follow me on YouTube as well. Bridger Rogers, make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell. You never know when I'm dropping a new episode. Sometimes I throw bonus episodes up throughout the week. And if you want to connect with me further, you can go to my website, www.bridgingthegap.ai www.bridgingthegap.ai. You can subscribe to my newsletter where I give you behind the scenes content, information, action items, downloadable PDFs, and we email you every time a new uh, podcast episode comes out. Thank you guys so much. I am Bridger Rogers. This is Bridging the Gap, and together we will bridge your gap. All right, congratulations. If you made it to the end of the video, you're a one percenter. So do me a favor, do a couple things for me. Number one, share this with someone that you feel like will get tremendous value from this video. And then number two, We've got content that'll help you level up and bridge the gap in multiple areas of life. Your belief systems, your mindset, your body, your business, your brotherhood, your babe. So all you gotta do is hit the link right here to watch my most recent video on how to bridge the gap with your belief system, with your body, with your business, with your brotherhood, and help you find a babe. See you guys in the next video.